Welcome back, learners! This video is the continuation of our previous lesson about adding and subtracting fractions. Today, you will be able to add and subtract the singular fractions and mixed numbers with regrouping. Before we proceed to examples, let us define first what is the singular fractions. The singular fractions are fractions having different denominators. Remember, we cannot add or subtract fractions having different denominators. So what are we going to do? First, we just have to make it similar. So how can we make different fractions similar? So let us proceed to our example. Example number one, two third plus one half. As you can see, we have different denominators. So how can we make it similar? First, we need to find the LCD of our denominators. To find the LCD of our denominators, we will multiply our denominators by the counting numbers. So let us write first a table. So let us get 3 and 2. So we will multiply this by the counting number. We can start with 2. 2 times 3, 6. 2 times 2, 4. 3 times 3, 9. 3 times 2, 6. As you can see, we already have the LCD or less common denominator. And that is 6. So now, we can proceed in adding our given fractions. So let us write the LCD, which is 6. Then we will divide the LCD to the original denominator. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Plus 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. Now, we can add our numerators. 4 plus 3 is 7. Copy the denominator, which is 6. As you can see, our answer is an improper fraction. So, what are we going to do with a fraction which is an improper? To transform an improper fraction into mixed number, just divide the numerator by the denominator. 7 divided by 6. So how many 6 are there in 7? 1. 1 times 6 is 6. Subtract 7 minus 6 is 1. So the quotient is the whole number. And the remainder is the numerator. And the divisor is still the denominator. So let us write the final answer. So the final answer is 1 and 1 over 6. So the sum of 2 third and 1 half is 1 and 1 sixth. So let us solve number 1 in other way around. So let us use the butterfly method. So just multiply the numerator by the opposite number, which is the denominator. So 2 times 2, 4, and that is our first numerator. 1 times 3, that is 3. And multiply the denominator, so to get the new denominator. So 3 times 2 is 6. Let us add 4 plus 3 is 7, 
copy the denominator, 6. Or, it will give us 1 and 1, 6. So, here is the other way or the shortcut of how to add the similar fraction. So, let us proceed to our example number 2, which is 1 and 1 half minus 2 thirds. So as you can see, we still have different denominators. So let us get the LCD first before subtracting it. So let us write a table, 2 and 3, and then we will multiply this to the counting numbers. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9. So the common denominator or the common multiple of 2 and 3 is 6. So let us write the common multiple or common denominator. So this one, this whole number, we will just write it. Now let us divide 6 divided by 2 is 3 times 1, 3. Minus 6 divided by 3 is 2 times 2, 4. As you can see in our number sentence, the minuend or the first number is less than the second number. So, we need to borrow 1 to our whole number. So, let us separate this first. So, 1, 3 over 6, minus 4 over 6. So, let us borrow 1 from our whole number. But here, the easy way to do that is our whole number, let us turn it into fraction. Which is, we can write this as 6 over 6. Then add. 6 over 6 is also equal by 1. So why do I use 6? Because the denominator is 6. So we can add fractions having similar denominators. So let us add this. So let us move here. 6 plus 3 is 9. Copy the denominator which is 6. Then we can now subtract 4 over 6. 9 minus 4 is 5. Then copy the denominator which is 6. The final answer is 5 over 6. So always remember learners that the answer must be reduced into lowest term whenever possible. So that's all for this video. Always remember, Paul Hamos once said, To learn mathematics is to do mathematics. Goodbye and thank you.